Well, if you're here at our site, you know that balance is a key thing to us, our name being finding balance. And you know, quite often I will admit, I have no idea what balance is, but I will tell you that I did hear a very good illustration of balance. It was from a little spitfire out of Texas named Beth Moore. And she defined it this way. She said, if, on, if you take a piece of paper and you draw a line down the center, and on the right hand side, you write the word obsession. That's I'm thinking about it, I'm worried about it, it's in my mind all the time, all the time. That's not healthy, okay, that's one extreme. And then on the other side of that line, you write the word carelessness. Well, I'm not going to worry about what I weigh, I'm not going to worry about what I eat, I don't want to mess with it. Both of those things are the extremes that we want to move away from. So obsession is one extreme, carelessness is the other. What we want to do is move toward the middle a word called respect. And what you want to do here is when I make decisions about eating and weight management and anything in life, could be relationships, money, etc., am I making decisions that respect who I am? And then we add to that little illustration five things. Not only respecting who you are physically, but we need to also respect who we are emotionally, intellectually, relationally, and spiritually, along with the physical. So there's five different areas to take into consideration when you're thinking about balance. So as you begin to make new choices about eating and weight management, think, am I being obsessive? Am I being careless? How can I be respectful? And that will lead you toward the balance that you seek.